thank the Lord for another beautiful, beautiful, and I mean beautiful, blessed day. Hope everybody's doing well as I give a great shout out to the YouTube family. Enjoying this beautiful day. I mean, the weather is just right. And I always got a sometime pause. And not sometime, but, but all the time. Stop. And look at God's beautiful creation. Even though some don't agree with it. And I was out jogging a little bit, but I'm laying on my back down at the little park. And a lot of times I like to lay flat on my back because I don't have no choice but to look up. And see, sometimes we walking around with our heads down. Not me. <laughs> but some of us are. Because God has been too good, too great. I mean, I can't, I can't even explain the goodness of the Lord. And I get excited thinking about the Lord. And I'm laying on my back because I'm looking at this tree. It don't matter what storm comes through here, how hard it rains, this tree keep standing tall I'm surrounded by trees and the Bible used trees for a lot in it, it, it word and we know why because well I like to think about the tree of life and this tree is deeply rooted in the ground and I always ask saints are we deeply rooted in Christ are we truly on this battlefield Hmm. A lot of people ready to give up, done gave up. A lot of Christians, so called themselves, Christians, try to make God look weak. Why would you say something like that, JT? Well, because how many people you know walking around saying, oh, I'm a Christian, but it's nothing godly about them? They talk about all that faith, but faith goes out of the door and one little thing happens. See, the thing is, you got to know how to praise the Lord while you up or while you down. That's why days like this, I go get Mama JT. We'll go get in the car. We don't need no money. It's like you saw in the other video. We don't need money to have a good time. Because why? We learned how to have fun, how to have a good time without money. Yes, money can buy a whole lot of things, but it can't buy me God. And the show can't buy me happiness. And our show can't buy no seat in the kingdom. Again, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? My prayer is for everybody this morning. See, I don't waste time praying long prayers because the simple fact God already know everything everybody needs. And I'm praying for just strength right now for the YouTube family. And not only just the YouTube family, but my brothers and sisters around this world. I don't have to know you to pray for you. And what's not going well, you can't sit up and worry about it. Don't try to figure out what's going to happen tomorrow. Because God already told you, don't even worry about tomorrow. You just try your best to make it through this day. And give God all the glory and all the praise. Even though some don't believe in God. My prayer is that the laws will become found. And I know I can pray my heart out and some go continue to stay lost. I can pray my heart out and a lot of churches are going to still stay stuck in religion and tradition. I can pray my heart out and some people are going to continue to be wicked because even Jesus let us know everybody wasn't going to make it in. Matter of fact, he even told us how hard it was to make it into heaven. He said few. I don't know what his few is. But he sure gave us a great example in the book of Matthew. How many was going to be going through that wide gate. And I'm going to tell you something brothers and sisters. I don't want to go through that wide gate. And I look at all these branches on this tree. I'm still on my back. Let the church say amen. But I look at how many of them are connected together. Some are big. Some are extra big. Some of the branches are little. But they connected. And that's the same way we are with Christ. We are connected. You should know a tree by its fruit. All of these trees have been standing up for a long time. Big pretty trees. They old but they strong. Hmm. 
And as I think about this old tree, I think about some of the old saints that have passed on. Hmm. Lady D, I feel you even in this video. Because I think about this old tree, I think about what you said about your mother, how strong mama was. Hmm. See, we don't have a lot of old saints no more like we used to back in the day. See, they knew how to pray. Mm -hmm. Most of them didn't even know how to read. But they knew who Christ was. And they prayed us, and still praying to this day, us out of trouble. Prayed that protection around us. Prayed that the Lord was looking over us. I got a news flash for you, y'all. Somebody was praying for us. Now, I know this video might be boring to some people, but I do what the Lord leads me to do because... The Lord gives me so many ideas. And sometimes you need to just lay flat on your back and look up like I'm doing in this video. Looking up to what, JT? I'm looking to the hills. That's what I'm looking toward, the hills, from which my help comes from. See, my help comes from the Lord. But see, most people only want to say that at a funeral with somebody dead and gone. Well, they ain't looking to the hills no more. Hmm. The family should be looking to the hills every day. Mm. My help every day comes from the Lord because that's my provider. That's my savior. That's my healer. That's my all the above I can even think of. Mm. So if you're walking around with your head hanging down, saints, go ahead and lift your head up. Because if you think you're doing bad, get up and walk into the hospital through the emergency room. Mm -hmm. If you think you're doing that bad, go in deep some of these, go in in some of these neighborhoods real deep and see. And as I was thinking about all the children suffering with cancer, Lord bless them all. I thought about how many people complaining and here it is, these children fighting with cancer knowing some of them not going to even make it and the smile that they have on their face. It's the person walking around don't even know who they are. It's the person right now complaining and their biggest complaint is I don't have a car. And somebody else complaining is I don't have no child no more. I lost my wife. My husband died. See, you got to be careful what you complaining about. I even have to check myself on this on a daily basis. This is why none of us are perfect. So as I'm laying on my back, hmm, looking at these trees with these strong branches, every now and again I see a squirrel run up in there. I've been laying here about 30 minutes because I'm, I'm a little tired because I, I don't know how many miles I walked this morning. But the Lord says, sit down, son, and just look up. And I thought about the YouTube family and brothers and sisters around the world. Many man, you came in with spirit. Lady D, Reveal the World, PP Drawings, Sister Lisa and Big Mike, your whole family. Mama JT, Papa JT, Baby Brother Orange Flavor, the beautiful I Rock. My girl Nessa and my big brother JD. So many y'all on her. It don't matter what y'all going through this morning. Think yourself happy. But what do you mean by that, JT? Look back over your life. <laughs> and you'll think yourself happy. That's what David did. Hmm. When David meditated on, on the Lord, when David was on the run, hmm, David danced out his clothes. David wasn't no praiser, really, to me. David was a worshiper. See, it is a difference between worshiping and praising. When you really get technical and break it down, it's a personal relationship. And that's why nobody, a lot of times, can feel what you feel at the time that you feel it because it's your worship. And your worship is for real. Mm. This is a beautiful day, people. One I know I would never see again. That's why I'm enjoying it. And there's the Lord speak through me as I speak to you. I don't know what y'all going through this morning, but I do know one thing. It's all right.
You got to believe in what you cannot see. You got to hold on to God's unchanging hand. It feels pretty good laying on my back. Hmm. See, a lot of us can lay on our back when it's time to sleep around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let the church say amen. But see, I like to lay on my back for different reasons. Hmm. Because I can't help but to look up. It's hard for me to look down, face down, when I'm laying on my back. Now, I can look to the right. Even look to the left. But most of all, I'm looking up. Hold your head up this morning, family. Look up. Know that the Lord is your strength. Know that God has all power. There is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, too hard for God. It's our job to encourage each other. This is encouragement also. It's our job to lift up each other. I'm lifting you up. All of y'all, Sexy Green, Brother James, Grace Truth Teacher, it don't matter who you are, I'm lifting you up. Spanish girl, God bless you. Mr. Vic, mm. everybody, because I know we don't all feel good every day, do we? Because being in this flesh, sometimes you might get sad. Being in this flesh, you might feel like giving up. Somebody right now in the, in, the, in the verge of leaving and breaking up in their marriage. Mm. Somebody right now that walked out of their child's life. Somebody right now that gave up on their daughter. Hmm. We got to stay under the shadows of the Almighty. And Mr. Uh, Tan, 41, I loved your email. Yes, I saw that on the news about the preacher house, the pastor, they, they broke into his house and he shot at him. I'm just like that pastor. I believe the same way. See, if somebody's bold enough to break into your house, they bold enough to take your life. And that pastor, I believe he was licensed. But it was also a blessing because nobody got killed. But the same incident happened at the same day in another location. Somebody broke into another man's house and they wasn't able to make it out somebody got killed that was somebody's father mm. see people nowadays don't have no heart people are breaking if you just got a picture hanging on the wall it's somebody breaking your house just to take that picture because that's the way these times are now and it's getting worse and worse day by day minute by minute hour by hour when the bible say be prepared be prepared in all things. Expect the unexpected. We don't know what's going to happen next, but we do know who holds tomorrow. So these things got to keep happening. This is why JT don't come outside and look for Christ to break through the eastern sky right now. You know why? Everybody else, not everybody else, but a lot of people got you thinking he's coming again in December of 2012. Mankind want to predict when he said he's coming like a thief in the night. But you know why I don't look? I'm looking for the devil to finish doing what he's doing right now. You know why? Because the devil comes before Christ. And you know why? Because these prophecies must be fulfilled. Not some of the way, but all of the way. If Christ was to come back right now, he'll be breaking his own word. You know why? I haven't seen no temple be built yet. It's quite a few other things that got to happen. And all of these things must be fulfilled before Christ return. And you know why I say that? Because he told us, God said in his word that he would destroy the heavens and the earth before he would go against his own word. And God is not a man that shall lie. And we already know that. So I'm not trying to make nobody mad by saying that. Just want you to stay on, on guard because... It lets you know in his word how tricky, how deceiving this devil is. But people are skipping past that. That's got to happen first. He will strip Satan down quickly in front of everybody. Oh, yeah. A lot of people waiting on that great rapture to hit next week, end of this year. God's word will be fulfilled. The devil is already here. 
I'm looking for the rest of the prophecies to be fulfilled. That's why JT don't get on camera and say he's coming soon. He's coming next week. He told you in the book of Matthew 24, one of my favorite books, as well as a, it's a testimony to Mark 13, that these beginning of sorrows, I mean beginning of sorrows, you don't know how long they're going to last. So he's coming soon. What is soon? I've been hearing that all my life. It might be another 20 years. It might be another 30 years. I say that to say that because JT don't know. Even Christ said he don't know. He said only the Father, even though Jesus is God. But he was showing us that nobody know except the Father. And when he come, you know why he's not going to come and we expect it? Because we're going to be expecting it. He's going to come, but you ain't even ready for it. Go back to Noah. <laughs> It's going to be just like the days of Noah. Everybody was drinking, partying, getting married, getting drunk, so on and so on. Same thing we doing now. Partying, fornicating, some sleeping around, some getting high, smoking all the dope they can. They're not worried about it. And so how are you going to be on guard? See, the trick is stay on guard. Stay in his word. Put on part of the armor. <laughs> nope. Put on the full armor. Every day. Breastplate of righteousness. Cover your head with the word. And I ain't talking about no cap. I'm talking about truly covering your head. Covering your heart. It ain't got nothing to do with a hat that you wear. It ain't got nothing to do with what you want to look like. Covering all your hair up. That ain't what I'm talking about. Y'all gonna make me preach on my back. Because now that I'm on my back. I'm finna go ahead and stand up. And get on out of here. Didn't even mean to make this video that long. But <laughs> hallelujah. I'm letting the Lord use me. In his service. So with that being said, y'all take care and remain blessed. Peace.